I'm going to be fired on Monday. I run a small bar in Michigan. I run said bar in everything except pay lol. I have a general manager who works on average 10 hours per week. I have an owner who I've never seen do a single thing other than drink bush light by the gallon. The tips are even good enough that I don't complain about being paid $6 an hour. I now find out we are closed Monday and Tuesday for spring cleaning. By the staff. For $6 an hour. For 10 hours. For two days myself and the other night bartender have said absolutely not, and we have been told we will be terminated if we do not show. On the bright side this has given me a week to job hunt, and boy is there a lot of opportunities out there right now. I've already had two interviews and have another two tomorrow. One of them during the hours I am scheduled to work. Wouldn't you know it, I think I feel a cold coming on. Tell them that if they fire you then you will not come to work anymore. Cleaning is difficult. Why would they underpay? LOL fucking idiots. Guess he'll be having fun doing that cleaning himself, or paying a professional 10x that amount to do it. Some of these owners are so fucking stupid, it shocks me that they can even have a functioning business with their incompetence. Ask him if he's seen all those now hiring, nobody wants to work any more signs up everywhere. Your part of cleaning the bar will consist of removing yourself from the premises. How can they complain about that? This happened at a bar I worked at years ago, enough of the workers complained an hour had to create a different job clock in so we got paid minute wage during times, we were not being tipped. Go out with a bang and make the pause heavy. If you're W-2, call the Department of Labor. If you're 1099 call the IRS, then the Department of Labor. X-200B. Edit be sure to have this in writing. Email text etc. of cleaning X hours at your normal rate. I have one thought. If I ever owned a bar, I would pay my people like $20 an hour to come in and spring clean once a quarter. I wouldn't make it mandatory but I am sure I would get people to show up. Also I would include lunch dinner. My thought is that most people would do it and I will still save a couple bucks an hour vs hire out for random cleaners. Spring cleaning is a normal part of restaurant operation and I wish more restaurants made it a habit, but being paid 6 hours for being there doesn't seem legal since you can guarantee there will be no tips, before quitting I would ask if you could be compensated for coming in with no expected tip revenue, since that would guarantee you are working below federal minimum wage laws which would be illegal. If you're not making tips for closed days and duties that you don't get tips you must be paid minimum wage. So, everyone go clean up the bar and do the work as prescribed and if they don't pay you all minimum wage then report them to the local labor department. Also bring in the union and then finally when you get a real nice job, quit. Ironically at the bar I recently left we got paid for dollar plus tips and I got fired for the same reason. Found a bar I have to drive an hour to, but I make $12 and work two days a week and clear a grand. Worth it. Fuck that job. My description says bartender not janitor, hire someone for it. I need a bartender in Columbus, Ohio if you're interested. I'm not doing anything for $6 hour. I wouldn't spring clean a bar for $50 hour. Fuck the cold, be straight up honest. Tell them you have interviews and that the current pay is simply just not worth your time anymore. If you're gonna get fired for not cleaning under minimum don't bother making an excuse to please them lol. Nope, not only are they required to pay at least minimum wage, there are laws that say there is only a small percentage of your shift that they can have you do not serving duties. Around here we call that a case of the old interview flu. You should only get a tip wage if you do work that may result in tips. If you're doing other work you should be paid at least minimum wage. They legally cannot have you do work like that for bartender wages. You could sue them. I worked at Firebirds with Fire Grill and they actually had to pay out their entire staff for lost wages, because they were making them do non-prep work for server wages. The law requires him to pay minimum wage when tipped staff are doing work that isn't tipped work. Even a serve that does something like rolling silverware must be paid at least federal minute wage. 
the owner is expecting you to work for less than minimum wage, which is $13.03 per hour for non-tipped employees in Michigan. The bar is closed, so you can't earn tips, and I doubt that the boss is going to give everyone a day's worth of tips out of his own pocket. What does a labor law violation do to one's ability to hold a liquor license? Could be wrong, but don't they have to pay you $10.10 which is the Michigan minimum wage if the business isn't open to public? If someone can confirm this for me, I'd say find another job and then turn their ass into the Department of Labor. Send him the numerous articles of people getting fined thousands and thousands of dollars for doing exactly what he's trying to do. It's illegal for you to work on those days at tipped wage pay, if they don't pay you at least minimum wage for those house you have been illegally fired. I advise you to show up, demand the correct pay, log everything that happens, and then proceed. If they don't pay you accordingly, you got yourself a lawsuit to show in your boss's ass. Best of luck. You know what? Make sure you get it in writing. Text message will do. Then report him to everybody you can think of. IRS, Dole, etc. I live in MI, guessing you don't want to share the bar's name OP? I've always wanted to leave a streaming pile of shit on a nice clean bar top. If they do fire you I would certainly say have a quick look at what your state says regarding food hygiene cleaning materials as some may require licenses to use and the lack thereof. And who is better to serve revenge but a local bartender? Not legal. They have to pay you at least state minimum wage for work that you do that is not tipped. You're not doing tipped work. At a minimum they better be paying you minimum wage. They will legally have to pay you minimum wage. Go and sit around. Bring a feather duster and casually use it. If you don't show they could just say that you quit. Go and make them fire you. Where is John Taffer? Can you DM me the bar? I get if you don't want to post it here publicly but I'm curious. Congratulations! This is an excellent example of how working people can do very well when they reach out to see what s out there, rather than simply endure. Don't be afraid to pick up your labor and sell it to someone else when the market allows, such as right now in many places. Bro, champagne glasses. Six dollar hour? How do you afford anything? They can't pay you below the minimum wage when you are working as a non-tipped employee. $6 an hour is legal when you're a tipped employee. You are not a tipped employee when the restaurant is closed and you are scrubbing the walls. 10 hours of work for $60 before taxes, what a great place. Be sure to document exactly how dirty it is so Osha can hear all about it next week and come visit. Wouldn't you know it, I think I feel a cold coming on. Oh no I hope you get better in time to start at your new job, op. I'm no lawyer but I'm pretty sure the minimum wage exemption for tips does not apply to work where no tips are involved. If they fire you, you could probably consult a labor attorney to FOM. I'm in Michigan to what bar? Six dollar hour. You are being robbed. Stop subsidizing their loser lives. Son of a cough. Whoa good for you op. Labor Department. Your job is doing something extraordinary illegal. Never fucking been a better time to be a bartender for real. If you are PD below regular minimum wage as a tipped worker, when you are doing non-tipped work, it has to be at regular minimum wage or higher. Let them fire you and you can get ed. Good for you. GL on your new job hope it is better than the last one foot. Damn that's a shame. They could have given you all a nice bonus to compensate you for your time and effort. Their loss. Good luck to you. I wouldn't stick around long enough to get paid that $6 hour, and then see if you can sue them for not paying you fair wages depending on where you live. I hope you report this to the labor board. Sounds like it's time for you to open a better bar across the street, Hoss.